When I was a girl on Saturday mornings, I would love to watch The Joy of Painting with Bob Ross. And every time I watched it, I thought, you know, I could totally do that. Even though in the back of my mind I thought, I probably can't do it, I still, he makes you feel like you could. So when I saw that they'd put Chill with Bob Ross up on Netflix streaming, I thought, this is perfect. I bring you Netflix and Chill with Bob Ross. Hi, welcome back. Certainly glad you could join us today. And as you can see, today I have one of my little friends with me. You're not a bird. So we have nothing but black, blue, and white today. So that's what we'll use. Let's start out with a little midnight black. I'm doing it. It's whatever you want to call it. Oh, it's too dark. It's okay. It's okay. The blue side. Totally and completely up to you. Okay. I'm crazy about water, so we'll take, <laughs> since it's all we have, we'll take the same colors, just black and blue, and let's lay in a little water. My sky is too dark. I don't know. Oh, Bob, I'm sorry. That little open area, if all works right. I don't know, Bob. These are pretty stiff brushes. You wouldn't want to use a sable brush to do. I'm just gonna do this, because I did it wrong. Yep, right there. Of the brush, see there? Just the top bristles. Okay, there, good. Oh, shoot. I will say this when you get behind, you're behind. Ouch! Lost my brush. I have another little cloud that just floats right in here. Let's see there. Back to our brush. People, have I got two colors of blue? I think maybe I have two blue. So I'm gonna just, I'm not sure. I don't know what's happening right now, but mine does not. Oy. Maybe there's another one lives right there. Yeah, I had two blue. They look the same. All right, it's all right. Look at this. I'm gonna get it, I'm gonna get it. They're just gorgeous clouds. Very simple to do. Let's come right up in here. Oh. Maybe in our world. Yep, see, we don't have maybe, maybe there's a little mountain there. Black and blue, black and blue. See, the only thing we're worried about is a nice top edge. We could care less what's happening elsewhere. And every year, there'd be this little bird out in the highway, and I'd bring him home. I feel like I should be doing more on these mountains, but... They'll appreciate it. Hey, I don't know, what are you doing? Their own pocket there. They can always use a little contribution. See, is this blue or black? The end's giving the feeling of a little... Black. Right over there. Just... Not much paint there. Oh, that can't be right. Or whatever kind of trees you want. Just Look, I'm not even on this part. I don't even... Okay. I think that's basically what this is. Okay. See, you can put layer after layer. Here again, I'm way behind. That's what makes your painting look like it has depth. Buzz it up. Okay, I'm out of white. I'm out of white. Room to get even darker if we need to. Oh, Bob, how did you do that tree? This thing should be. I think that tree needs practice.
can grab my fan. There's the one. Grab the wrong fan, bro. How does he do those trees? It looks so easy. Not easy. It's the opposite of easy. Oh my goodness. Maybe. See, and I've already like missed this so bad. Evergreens. Grab the bottom. Give it a little pull so there's a shadow under it. Here's one that maybe is a little bent. Oh, that was better. Not great. He's done three trees. I've done one. So that's a thing. Straight down. Oh. See? Should have stuck with one tree. Now I got a hot mess. I used a darker color so it will stand out. There we are. Okay, this is... Cut us in a little water line. Now I'm behind. There. Happy painting. God bless, my friend. Ta-da! For my first attempt at an oil painting, I think this is pretty doggone good. 